Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my top seven hacks for keeping dog hair under control in your home. I have two Shiba Inus, which are notorious for being heavy shutters. Our newest addition is Nyla. She's a black Shiba Inu and she is four months old. And then we have a tan Shiba Inu, which is Moko, and she's 11 years old. So I've had plenty of time to come up with great tips on eliminating dog hair. The first hack is to cover your pet's favorite chair or place that they like to lay with a blanket or something that is easily removable so that you can pop it into your laundry every one to two times a month. Not only will this eliminate the hair, but it'll also keep those areas smelling fresh and clean. The second hack is to use a rubber glove that is slightly dampened to attract all the hair in those hard to reach areas that your vacuum didn't pick up. This is super useful on your carpeted stairs and on upholstery, as well as along the bottom of your baseboard where it meets the carpet. You'll be surprised at how much hair is stuck in those areas. Once I've pulled up all that dog hair out of the corners and cracks, then I like to go over it with the um, Tyneco attachment for the stairs and get it all vacuumed up. Real quick, if you haven't already, be sure if you're liking the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to have you in my YouTube family. So the third hack, which is no surprise, is to give your dogs a regular bath. And what I mean by regular is probably once a month. So bathing your dog will help to remove the loose hair, but it also helps by moisturizing the skin and to prevent dryness, especially in the winter. So usually dry skin causes more shedding, so moisturizing the skin should help reduce shedding. The shampoo that I like to use is from Perfect Coat and it is a shed control shampoo. And what it has in it is a pro vitamin B, it has omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. So that's gonna help to strengthen the skin and the coat and to help it really shine. So that's one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is the Oster Oatmeal Essentials Extra Soothing Shampoo. And that's going to moisturize uh, for dry, itchy skin. So again, this is all going to help to combat the shedding that is often associated with dry skin. If you are new and just stopping by, I just wanted to say hi, my name is Amy. I hope that you're enjoying the video and welcome. Um, I do videos on cleaning motivation, some DIYs for home decor, and if that's something that you would enjoy, just hit that subscribe button, plus hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post my next video. And also remember to give those puppies some treats so that they think of a bath as a spa treatment and not as something bad. Now moving on to hack number four for keeping dog hair under control. And this one involves an emery board fingernail file. Well, you know the felt pads that you put on your bottom of your chairs to keep your floors from being scratched? Well, sometimes they can look like wool socks with all the hair accumulation. So what you do is you'll take an old emery board file and just quickly run over the felt pad, which causes no damage to the pad and all that hair will just simply fall to the ground and you'll be left with a super clean felt pad. So the last step to do is after all that hair has fell to the ground is to just do a quick vacuum and then you will no longer have those wool socks at the bottom of your chairs.
Not only does this technique remove dog hair, but it also removes some of the particles and dust that is accumulated on them. So this can help prevent scratches on your wood floor as well. So that's a win-win. The fifth hack is to brush, brush, brush. Make sure that you just brush your dog daily. Some dogs coats shed more than others. And so no matter what you do, um, you're gonna have some hair, but helping them to shed their hair when the season changes reduces the hair that's gonna be in the house. So you need to take your individual pet's coat into consideration when buying a grooming tool. So what I prefer for our heavy shedders and they have a very thick undercoat is a rake. Now, when you go to your groomer, go ahead and have them recommend what brush would be best for your dog. And Mocha has come to just really love this and she enjoys uh, the brush and I enjoy getting the hair up now and not having to see it floating around and having to pick it up later. Also, I take a hypoallergenic dryer sheet and just lightly rub over her fur to reduce the static. Now moving on to the sixth hack for keeping dog hair under control and that is to vacuum the areas that you're most in daily. So for us that is our family room. Our dogs and we are in here every day and so every day at least I have to do the floors and just a quick vacuum you'll be surprised at how much hair you're going to see when you empty it into the trash can. Also, every other day, I like to just run the vacuum quickly over their dog beds and then that hair isn't going to be flying around and being carried to other places of the house. So just keeping on top of the floors, I think really keeps the dog hair from taking over your house. I just want to feel it It's just what I do when So the final and seventh pack for keeping dog hair under control is to keep a lint roller handy and right before you exit your house keep it stashed in a place where you can grab it and just roll the dog hair off we also keep it in our car and no one will ever know that you have a house full of dogs and possibly hair everywhere another tip is to wear the color of your pet unfortunately I have both so lint roller is a must and a quick solution Okay, well that'll be all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you can come away with some tips that you can use to combat all the hair that you may be dealing with. But just remember to really love on your animals because in no time they could be gone. So just do the best you can and move on. So until next time, I'll see you on Simply Our Home. Bye, have a great day and thanks so much for watching. I hope that I gave you some tips that you can um, use to help you withstand your dog hair. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed watching.